A rat! My marky mark is him. There's the... Hey, Mark! Hurry up! It's raining! It's raining! How was your day? It was good. It was good? Them lemon, them lemon, bright yellow and green, green shirts. Good, huh? Mommy, have your backpack. Okay. But I saw it! I swear I did! Yeah, I didn't talk to too many people yesterday at softball game now, did I? I swear! Because if I would have saw you, I probably would have punched you. If I would have known you were, you guys didn't identify who you were, then you, that's because they knew that they would have got punished. They would have got, probably got punched in the face. Identify yourself or get punched and, and identify yourself and get punched in your face or identify yourself or give me paperwork, identify yourself and get me in the courtroom. One day, one way or another. You best but I hope I don't punch you in the face. Identify yourself and pray I don't punch you in your face. Pray. That's all. That's what I got to say. Pray I don't punch you. i like to see you try. i like to see you try. Moving on up ceremony. You got to be at the school by 6.45. At the Dicey Middle School Gymnasium. Wednesday, 6.45. Students are expected to arrive early and situated. The ceremony itself will begin at 6.30 p.m. promptly on the Dusty High School football field. But just like Billy did, huh, Marky Mark? Remember Billy graduated from on, on that football field? Remember where Billy graduated from? I hate it when he graduated. I don't care. It was hot, wasn't it? He was sweating. I was sweating and I hate it. Well, guess what? You got to do it now. It's your turn. It's your turn. You're moving up ceremony on that foot, football field. Your turn. All right, praise God. Hope is in front of me. That's Wednesday. My son is moving on, graduating from elementary school and going to junior high school. I have my moving up pictures somewhere. I, um, actually, they're posted on... Uh, David, David Mullen's page, if I do believe it, might be even my my Facebook page. Yep, on my Facebook page is my moving up ceremony. Me and my Pine Acres class of nineteen eighty six class of nineteen eighty six elementary school. I want to say. 84, I was 12, maybe 85, because 86, 87, 88, yeah, 85, right? Class of 1985, Pine Acres School Elementary. You were not there, bitch. You were not at Pine Acres School. Elementary school graduation in 1985. What other lies do you want to tell? I'm sorry, Nadine. I'm not giving up. I still, I'm going to lie to the kid that I stole for the rest of her life. So she, when she gets older and she finds out the truth, she's going to say that I'm a living liar. Like I do. She don't have no family. That's old news. That, that was old news back when I was 18 years old. It's Chucky and all of my buddies that I hung out with when I was 18 years old. Chucky, did I have family? Did I ever hang out with family growing up? Did I? Did I ever hang out with my brothers and sisters? 
I did maybe two two times my brother Alan. I, I was driving him around because he was drunk. I think. I think. The one time. He, well, I went and saw a softball game. Softball game, and I used to... Yeah. No, I don't really. And then the one time when he met Angie. When I was starting to have my nervous breakdown is when I went looking for family to hang with. But that wasn't good family because he was drunk. So anyway, but yeah, my friends will tell you, I didn't hang out with my siblings growing up. So that's no news. I don't have a partner. I don't have, I have a husband, but he's not my partner because obviously he goes with the bitch that, that's stealing my life. So, I don't lie to my kids. I won't. So you can have my son like a little fucking puppet that you want him to be. All you want. But once my son actually finds out the truth, I think he's going to feel the same way I do towards all of you. And he's going to respect me for not, yell, uh, for not lying. And you know what? See these socks? Look. My son. She's a slob. My son takes his socks off, all of them. They take their clothes off where they're at. This is Billy's. These are Billy's socks, by the way. And leaves them all. They take them off. He takes them off by the computer and leaves them. It's like the third pair already. Ah. Yeah, Mark does too. Yes, I know. I know, Mark. What do you want to eat, Mark? So... Who else wants to lie about where I am? I saw my friend ride by a little while ago. Hi, how you doing? Hey, hi, how you doing? How you doing? I told you I'm gonna find my friends from then. They're gonna, they're gonna crawl out of the woodwork. The people that I hung out with, even though I didn't really talk much because I was quiet. <clears throat> but I hung out with them. I took care of them. They were nice people. I can't wait till my friends come out of the woodwork. I had a lot of friends. Obviously, you took my fucking address book. You took my address book and found some dirt on everybody to turn against me. Obviously. Obviously, I had a lot of friends. You took my address book. Nadine's psychic, so we're trying to keep her on a down low so that we can keep her. And my son says, oh, well, you did this to them. You can change it. You can change things. Oh, yeah. You sound just like my fucking asshole sister. So Missy's got her little fucking paws dug into my goddamn son. I can't wait till she fucking drops dead. I don't care how many foster kids you got, Missy. You're going to lose them all. Because you're going to prison, bitch. You're going to jail. You're not me. Your daughter's not my daughter. And Kenneth Rudder was her first husband. And Scott Rudder is his brother. They played a fucking big mind game with me to see what I would do. And I reacted just like they expected me to react. But I had talked to my teacher and said there was nothing wrong going on. That it was a mind of a show and I wanted my divorce papers. But obviously I didn't get them. So my husband and I are still together. And we're here doing things, trying to do things as a family. But obviously the bitch don't want that to happen. So I'm glad that's worked out for the whole fucking world. And I could care less if my sister is dead or alive. It's a pretty damn shame. You only got one family. Yeah, well, I didn't have one from the beginning because they were losers and I was not. I was not raised a loser and they tried to take away the, the little good that was in my life. They don't like me having anything good in my life. They want to pull me down to their low life, no good levels. I'll keep praising God. Meanwhile... Thank you, Jesus. Thank you to all my brothers and sisters in Christ. Thank you for all the prayers. Truth will be told.
justice be served, and may you friggin' rot and that's yourself.